So here we're going to talk about FASTAT model 7000 and 9000. And one interesting thing here is that the 9000 is actually a simplified version of the 7000 kit. The 7000 kit is for applications where you only have four conductors in between your thermostat and your air handler, and only two conductors between your condenser and air handler. Model 9000 just deals with the air handler to condenser side of the equation. So we're going to show the Model 7000 unboxing, which will kind of combine both. As always, you have a really nice kind of basic wiring diagram for the primary application here on the back of the box. Again, for additional details and kind of step-by-step -step instructions, you are going to want to follow the manual. Always recommend looking at the technical specs on the side to make sure that it's going to work for your application. Like anything, there are limitations, but it is designed to work for the vast majority of 24 volt heat pump applications. First, we have our thermostat sender. We have our indoor unit module. And we have the heat pump module for the outdoors. So again, first thing I want you to do is identify the kind of connector wires um, that go between the different uh, modules. And so the connector wires that go between your thermostat and your indoor unit, so thermostat and indoor unit, are your red, black, gray, and purple. And again, you have two blacks and two reds because black and red are just common and hot. And this is assuming that you do have a four conductor uh, wire going in between your thermostat and your air handler already, which is generally what you are gonna have. So we're gonna demonstrate this quickly, what this would look like wiring this in a real life situation between our thermostat side and our equipment. Again, all the other colors that you have here are your standard um, colors that you would use. And again, this is designed for two-stage operation as well, which is kind of nice. Red is 24 volt hot. Yellow is Y1. Brown is Y2. Black is common. Green is for our blower. Blue in this case is our reversing valve operation. And white is for our heating or auxiliary heat strips. Now we're gonna identify the same four conductors to connect between. So we have red, purple, gray, and black, and same thing. We have additional blacks and reds to give us those additional connections easily. But black is our common and red is our 24 volt hot. And essentially all we're doing is connecting these to each other through a conductor. Now once that's done, you're gonna connect to your equipment on both sides according to the wiring diagrams. Thermostat on this side and your indoor unit on this side. Now let's show how you connect from your indoor unit to your heat pump. With your heat pump, it's just red and orange. And in this particular case, you're connecting this red to your terminal block or to your conductors in the heat pump. Because it's just 24 volt power, you're gonna end up connecting three wires underneath. This one to the wire from your heat pump or the terminal block, and then another conductor that's going to end up connecting to this red that goes to your indoor unit. So these are gonna be connected to one another and then you're going to use an additional connector to connect these oranges together, which then becomes your communications wire. The rest of it is gonna be straightforward, reversing valve, commons, one common connected to the equipment, one common connected to ground, white or heat, yellow for your stage one cooling, and brown for your stage two cooling. Now, I know the one thing that's gonna be the big question here is about these grounded commons. And again, it does rely on you having a good solid ground, there is an alternate to transformer method that you can use. Uh, we're not gonna cover that in this video, but we will cover it in some future videos as well. And that's it for the Model 7000. This is the Mac Daddy uh, of all the FastApp products. It's got all three different modules, so that way you can capitalize on conductors that you already have without having to pull new wires. Um, again, as part of your process uh, for an installing contractor, if you're gonna be putting a new heat pump in, you're gonna wanna make sure to test those conductors through an ohm test before you try to utilize them. But if the conductors are in good shape, uh, you can easily use this kit without having to pull new wires, especially in cases where that would be uh, extremely difficult, if not impossible to do. So that is the Model 7000 from Fastat. All right, so now let's talk about the Fastat Model 9000. This is probably one of my favorites because you do find a lot of applications where you're wanting to put a heat pump in place, maybe even a two-stage heat pump, 
but you have very limited conductors. Maybe you have two, maybe you have four, but none of that's gonna be enough to install a modern two-stage 24 volt controlled heat pump, or even a single stage for that matter. Now, again, as with all of the FASTAT models, you have a really nice instructions on the back um, that's gonna be for sort of the typical application. And again, the 9000 is gonna be for cases where you have enough conductors going to your thermostat, or potentially you could rerun the cable pretty easily to your thermostat, but you have this long conductor running to your condensers. This is especially a big deal in cases like multifamily applications where you maybe have uh, thermostat wires that are running multiple floors and you're gonna put a heat pump in. And you, you find more and more this is going to be something that's happening and this is gonna be a solution to that problem. This is very similar to the 7000 kit with the exception that it just doesn't have that additional module for reducing the number of conductors between the inside unit and the thermostat. So let's go ahead and show you what's inside the box. So right away you're gonna notice instead of having two modules and the smaller one for the thermostat, you just have the two modules. So you have your heat pump module for outside and your indoor unit module for inside. And again, like we've talked about before, you wanna first identify the conductors that are gonna connect in between. And in this case, that is simply orange and red. And really the magic is happening over this orange conductor. This is where the communications is occurring and red is just 24 volt power. Now, as with all FASTAT models, if you do find that you have an additional conductor, so say maybe you have uh, four conductors run in between, um, you're gonna wanna connect your common up. So you can connect your blacks together from inside to outside and that will prevent having to use a grounded common, the way this is shown, or a multi-transformer type of setup. Another factor whenever you're working on these heat pump models is you do want to think about things like your outdoor thermostat configuration, what your secondary heat source is, whether it's electric heat or fossil fuels, and the instructions go over that in detail. We're going to follow up on that in future trainings to kind of discuss exactly how that works. You have all of these additional conductors outside for connecting your heat pump. All these additional conductors are where you connect your air handler or inside unit and you just have these two conductors in between, preventing you from having to run an entirely new cable from inside to outside when installing a heat pump condenser. The 9000 is simplified because it's designed to only provide additional conductors from the air handler to the outside unit in a case where you're putting a heat pump condenser in place and you already had enough conductors in between the air handler and the thermostat or you can easily run new conductors. The 7000 has more conductors or wires because it needs to be able to connect to the condenser with only two wires, as well as uh, a thermostat that only has four wires between the thermostat and the air handler. So in a case like this, when we're using the 9000, these are the conductors that would be connected to our terminal block. And these two would connect to the conductor that goes outside to our condenser in a case where all we had was two wires and we would be grounding one of these commons unless we had an additional wire. So maybe we had three good wires or four good wires to the outside, then we would also connect our common to the outside. In the case of the 7000, we're gonna be doing the same as the 9000 plus some other steps. We can either ground and use a grounded common to the outside if we don't have enough conductors. We have both our orange and our red, which go outside. And again, you do have additional blacks and reds to give you additional 24 volt power and 24 volt common. And then we also have our purple and our gray. So then these would be the conductors, this purple, gray, red, and black would be the conductors that would go inside if we only had four, a four conductor wire going to the inside. And then all the rest would then connect back up to our terminal block. As always, you need to check your voltage beforehand. You need to test it afterwards to make sure that everything works, including your auxiliary heat, emergency heat, defrost, all of those features, that's gonna be key. But the Model 9000 is a really reliable way to get those additional conductors you need without the need for batteries, without the need for some sort of wireless communications protocol that we know can be unreliable. To find out more about FASTAT and especially the Model 9000 and 7000 for heat pumps, go to fast-stat.com. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group.
Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.